always got to give the disclaimer. I'm a licensed attorney, but I'm not your attorney, so not legal or financial advice. If you're looking for that, go somewhere else, get a professional because you're not getting that here. So let's talk a little bit about it. I want to go ahead and pull the article up. But before I do, y'all always know I like to give the prerequisite. Domestic violence. Now, what constitutes and defines domestic violence is different in each state. If I'm not mistaken, I believe New York is one of the very few states that implemented a mandatory arrest for a domestic violence assault. They did that in an effort to try to protect victims, but, you know, it could be problematic. Now, my experience when it comes to domestic violence related cases, a hey, as a young attorney trial court for three, almost four years, I was in domestic violence court probably <laughs> every week. Unfortunately, I didn't want to be there. Now, how they typically define domestic violence in the area where I was serving as a trial attorney anywhere there's some type of familial relationship or if people cohabitate together. So if me and my brother just got into a fight, it's not an assault if we live in the same house. It's still an assault, but that case, because we have the same address, they would have moved that to domestic violence court. Now, I'm going to give you all a caveat before we dive into the facts. No, actually, let's take a look at the story first. Then we'll go ahead and I, I give my take. Let me go ahead and pull this article up because, you know, your boy can't see. Jonathan Majors arrested for alleged assault in New York. Actors denies wrongdoing. OK, Jonathan Majors was arrested on Saturday in New York on a domestic violence allegation after a dispute with a 30 year old woman. According to the statement from the New York Police Department, the woman told officers that she was assaulted and was taken into the hospital with minor injuries to her head and neck. A representative for Majors denies the allegations, as they should be doing at this point. He has done nothing wrong, Majors' spokesperson said in a statement to Variety, we look forward to clearing his name and clearing this up. According to the police statement, the officers received a 911 call around 11.14 a.m. A preliminary investigation determined that a 33-year-old male was involved in a domestic dispute with a 30-year-old female, police said. The victim informed police she was assaulted. Officers placed the 33-year-old male into custody without incident. The victim sustained minor injuries to her head and her neck and was removed to an area uh, hospital in stable condition. The police statement listed several potential charges, strangulation, assault, and harassment. The actor recently starred in several major films. Uh, he played Damian Anderson in Creed Three, which came out recently uh, with Michael B. Jordan as his co-star. And he also starred in, uh, as Kang the Conqueror in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, his latest picture. Uh, he has also, his latest picture, which originally premiered at Sundance, is titled Magazine Dreams which has been acquired by Searchlight Pictures and is set to come to theaters on December 8th. The actor has also signed to join Amazon Studios uh, in a film called The Understudy. So I wanted to just kind of get the facts out of the way. Now, right now, hey, we can't go into depth on any real legal analysis because it's early in the game. It's, it's early. We don't know what happened. We don't know what the facts are. We just have this very small information that is listed on the police report. So we got to see and wait till things come to light. But I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about DV Court first before I talk about how this could potentially put his a bag in jeopardy for uh, Jonathan Majors. Um, now, domestic violence court is one of those things, DV situations, where it's crazy. Uh, I've seen it so many times as a defense attorney Two people get into an argument and whoever is the first person to make contact put charges out on the other individual. It, it, it gets absolutely crazy. I mean, I've seen couples have an argument and they sprinting down to file charges because whoever filed charges first, hey, they were like, hey, I want to file the charges before you file the charges. It gets crazy. Charges are filed. People have restraining orders put in place because of those charges. They are kicked out of their home. People go into custody for violating the restraining order. I've seen it, a, not a billion, but I've seen it hundreds of times where 
a couple has a domestic violence matter that's in court. There's an order to keep person A away from person B. They reconcile. They work everything out. What happens? They get mad again. Uh, one of the party gets mad, calls the authorities. Now this person is in custody for violating the court order to stay away. Jobs are lost. It just is a big ass mess. So I hope that we get facts so this matter can be resolved. Now, got to keep it real. Hey, when it comes to things like these, yo, in the in the court of public opinion, <laughs> it's it's more like proven guilty, yeah, guilty until proven innocent, even though it's supposed to be the opposite. So I'm hoping that you know the facts come out and the facts are detailed facts, so at least we can get to the bottom of it. If the victim was truly assaulted, they deserve justice. If the victim wasn't assaulted, hey, justice can flip the other way. We got to get more information before we can make a determination. But this is definitely going to impact this bag. When it comes to domestic violence matters, violence against women, you got two movies coming out. You got all these other movies that are set to come out in December, and you're signing all these lucrative deals. A lot of times, the sponsors want to stay the hell away until you can get this situation rectified. Like they they want to, and that's the right position to take. If I'm a company and I got a movie that's set to come out in a month with this guy, depending on how things play out, it's probably advantageous to them to actually pull back the movie because you don't know if the facts are going to come out and be great for him and it's going to be nothing. It's just going to be dismissed and nothing's going to come from it or you don't know if it's going to come out and be a straight shit show so i think companies have to protect themselves and you know like hey we're going to hold that position until we get facts and figure out how this thing lands but we know how it tend to go in a court of public opinion most times you're guilty until proven innocent i couldn't find any information about who this woman was jonathan major does have a nine-year-old child um, I don't know if it's the mother of his child or it's another woman that he was in some type of relationship. But as more facts come out, I definitely give y'all an update and keep y'all posted as to how things play out. But domestic violence is a, a terrible thing. But these charges, I've seen them and not in this particular case. I'm just saying in general, I've seen I've seen charges that were legitimate where people were bad actors and needed to have their ass in jail. I've seen charges that were made up, that were false. I mean, I've just seen so much crazy stuff when it comes to domestic violence cases, domestic violence court assaults. I remember I had this one case, and I'm going to let y'all go after this story. But I had this one case where it was a guy who was married. He had a stepchild, and his stepdaughter actually accused him of sexual assault. Now, this guy was adamant that I didn't do anything. DFD, it's it's all bogus, it's BS. This dude had his job was lost because of the allegations that came out. The relationship with his wife was completely destroyed, as what you think is gonna happen. That relationship was just completely destroyed. Months later, we finally go to court because this uh his stepdaughter made comments on social media and her social media comments were accessible. During cross-examination, I was able to essentially get her to admit that she fabricated everything. So the charges was dismissed. This guy was completely vindicated, but by that time, the damage was already done. So DV court is a cold game. We got to see how this plays out with the facts. At the end of the day, hey, I just hope the facts come out and a hey, justice is served no matter who it is for what party or for what side y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments they're gonna have to get somebody else in the multiverse to play king and the conqueror though if this shit go bad let me know what y'all think in the comments and if you enjoyed this video check out the video on the screen there's going to be more content related to finance or attorney reactions peace